Well, it's Saturday and it's El Crapo outside. Raining, of course. But we're gonna do something a little different because before I get too far along in that bathroom, I gotta, I gotta get my washer and dryer in. And I decided I should probably check them out, make sure they're working before we stuff them in there. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Square. That's the room we have to work with. It's about 30 inches. All right, so what we have here is the Equator 110 volt compact washer and dryer. I would imagine that it has consolidated brands on it because it's probably sold under several different names. But the dryer is a Model 848 and the washer is an 824. So let's get them unboxed and let's make sure they work. Pro safety tip number one, don't tear off cardboard by hand with an open razor blade knife. I swear I just stabbed myself. So the washer's unboxed. And you know it has to be good because it says right on there, super washer. So it's got to be just fantastic. Yeah, we didn't open it. Let's see what's inside. Nope, it even came with the hoses. So as you can see, it's not huge. You're not going to be doing a, a family of six. But for an RV, I think she'll do just fine. This thing has a little tray for your stuff. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> it's pretty standard washer, I guess. <laughs> well, I couldn't help myself. So this is the finished product. Can I get it all? It's a little shorter than I thought. I mean, I'm six foot and it comes to eh, just below my neck. So that's good. This dryer, significantly thinner than the washer, as you can see there. Um, the vent hose is gonna be smaller than your typical dryer vent, I believe. That looks like a three inch. And it comes with this fancy uh, adapter, which you absolutely have to have, apparently, because I can see the uh, little notches. But. I mean, it's moving a decent amount of air. I don't know if you can hear that. But we'll see how much it heats up. I just started it about 30 seconds ago. So the burning question is, how well does it work? Outdoor temperature is eh, mid-50s. Oh, it just shut off. What happened? Oh. That must be reversing. Oh, it did. It reversed direction. That's different. So anyways, it's in the 50s. And let's see how hot it is in there. Showing 114. It keeps changing direction, which I get, oh, 120. So, it's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know what a regular dryer is pumping out. I'm sure it's, you know, at least twice that, but, you know, for a little compact RV unit, I think it'll dry some clothes. It defaulted to an hour and 45 minutes. Well, actually, an hour and 50 minutes. So two hours to dry a load of laundry. You know, it seems a little long. But again, this going in an RV, I'm not, I don't expect it to, be, to perform to the same level as a dryer running on 220. I just want to have the ability to do laundry. I don't anticipate using this often. Just for kicks, let's uh, see what the inside's doing. So the back of the drum inside's 100, well, you know, kind of, I'm bouncing all over the place. 
Right now it's at the 80s, but it's only been running five minutes. <clears throat> and go. Okay, that's not what really happened. But I'm learning how to edit videos, so I figured I would try it. But we do know on the back of the vent here, I can see the drum in there spinning. You probably can't, but right that, that is the back of the drum. And it's showing 120-ish. 125. Kind of all over. There we go. So, it's still getting hotter. And again, this thing runs at 110 volts. Standard. I've just got it into an extension cord right now. Nothing fancy. So, I gotta say, so far, we're gonna run a load of laundry through it just to make sure. But, so far, I'm liking it. All right, she'll be right It's kind of quiet too, I gotta say. I'm surprised. Well, while the dryer is doing its thing, let's start connecting up the washer. All right, washer is hooked up. Again, just simple as a dryer. 110 outlet, I only got the cold water hooked up. We're just gonna drain it right here on the driveway. But we're gonna throw a load in that and we'll see how it do. Fancy. Yeah, 20 minutes on a cold. All right. So here's the unit running. It's pretty quiet. So this was a small laundry basket we put in here. It's been running about an hour and a half, maybe a little longer. Let's see what the temperature's showing. It was up to 140 earlier. We we're sitting at about 120. And mind you, it's 50 degrees out here, so it should run a little hotter. Free entertainment. <laughs> Entertainment. All right. But one last thing with the dryer. I, I think this is probably the only area I would say needs improvement, which is that's the lint filter right there. And according to the instructions, you just grab all four of these and pull, which I pulled. It takes quite a bit of force. Then you take off the old uh, exhaust filter there, and then the, you're left with this. And let's see, I can't quite do it one handed. Sorry, guys. And then there we go. And then clean your filter and put it back on. And it just pops back on. It goes on easy enough. You don't gotta get crazy with it, but yeah, taking it off uh, requires a little bit of strength. So after running these things, uh, we're, we're both pleased. Uh, they, they, they did their job. Um, you're not gonna fit a ton of laundry in it, but you know, if, if space is an issue, uh, I would recommend these. I don't know what the longevity is gonna be like. Uh, well, you know, only time will tell on that. But so far, you know, they, it does what it says it, it'll do. So we're gonna run with it. And with that, appreciate your guys' time and thanks for watching.